As we all know, Daniel House <laughs> got suspended a game or relieved from a game because of his dealings with a worker within the facilities that was testing for COVID. Apparently, he let the woman into his room uh, while she was supposed to be testing for COVID. Now, if you want to use your imagination of what happened, essentially, one of two things happened. They had sex, or three things, sex or oral transaction, we'll just call it that, whatever the case is, or both, or a sexual favor. But this just goes to the bigger problem for the Houston Rockets. Basketball is a job to them. They don't really love the game like how everybody thinks they do or how they portray themselves to be and how they love the game, how they're innovative and things of that nature. But Daniel House to put himself in a position where he could cost his team a basketball game, which he did because with Daniel House not playing, that hurt the Rockets' chances to win game four. And if he was there, maybe they hit more threes. Maybe it's more competitive game. So he hurt his team wholeheartedly. Sex to be such a high priority when they already told you, you you could have guests in the bubble. You could invite somebody over for the bubble. Like He could have invited three strippers and told them, you're going to stay in the bubble with me and I'll pay you whatever. He could have did something like that. Or he could have he left the bubble himself. And, you know, ask for a reprieve and, and just leave a bubble for a couple of days on the off day and come back or whatever the case is. For sex to be such a high priority on his list just shows he doesn't he doesn't value basketball as much as he says he does. He didn't make the team a priority. He didn't make the game a priority. And honestly, the bubble was going to be the model for a lot of other teams that might, you know, want to follow in the footsteps. Or if the NBA had to come back and run a bubble again. That was going to be the model of it. But for him to put himself in jeopardy, put the young lady in jeopardy, the league's reputation, his team's reputation, and also get hundreds of players and people in the facility sick. Like, what if she had COVID-19? He gets hundreds of people sick in the, in the bubble, and the bubble shuts down because of a moments of passion. She had better have been bad, or she better have been like the... She better be like his future wife. We better hear a story ten, five years from now. They got married and have kids and stuff like that. Because this was absolutely ridiculous. Guys just don't understand the ability to focus and the need to focus is highly important. And to avoid the distractions. And sex can't be your number one priority. When you're getting paid and the climate of the country, just what you guys are representing in the bubble. The bubble has gone off essentially without a hitch. And for this to come up was very disheartening and disgusting to me. I mean, if I was James Harden or any of those guys and they just they just paid this guy a contract, I'll let uh, Daryl Morey know, like, I don't want him anymore. I don't want him to be on the team. Like, this dude really picking pussy over his purpose. And when anytime you do that, you're going to fail and fall flat on your face. And he had numerous options to get a girl. He could easily please himself if he wanted to. And, you know, sorry for the foul language or this seems disgusting. But it's even more disgusting for somebody to put their profession at risk over a woman. He, oh, in history, like Cleopatra, people just like, you know, willing to, to throw everything away over things that are in the long term. They don't even mean much. And it, it just it just really hurt me and, and disgusted me there. I mean, let me know how you feel. Who's Junction? Who's me? Who's Blue? Like, comment, and subscribe.